hi guys in the previous lecture that is the lecture number 20a we have solved the previous year gate problem from 1991 to 2006 on the topic three phase rectifier now in this lecture that is the lecture number 20b we will solve some previous year gate problem from 2007 to 2017 based on three phase rectifier so let us move to the first question in the first question it is saying that a three phase 440 volt 50 hertz ac main fed thyristor bridge is feeding power a 440 volt dc 50 15 kilowatt separately excited dc motor so what is here here i am having three phase rectifier okay and it is control rectifier and here i am having dc motor at the output side dc motor that is separate, separately excited dc motor is connected and with a ripple free continuous current i naught is constant in the dc link under all operating condition neglecting the losses means internal resistance is zero the power factor of ac mains at half the rated speed means we have to find the input power factor at half the rated speed see rated speed is 1500 rpm okay means we have to find the power factor at 750 rpm is it fine now tell me what is the input power factor the formula of input power factor is equal to g into fundamental displacement factor okay and g i have i have already derived that is equal to 3 upon pi into cos alpha so if i will know the angle alpha triggering angle alpha then i can easily find the input power factor okay here the input supply is 440 volt 50 hertz okay and it is feeding a 440 volt dc the rated voltage across this is 440 volt means if i will supply the rated voltage 440 volt then this separately excited dc motor will run at 1500 rpm so i can say that when e is equal to 440 volt then speed i will get that is equal to 1500 rpm as we know that e proportional to n for constant flux here separately excited dc motor is given means flux is constant now in order to run this dc motor at 750 rpm what will be the value of e the value of e will be half of the e rated that is equal to 440 by 2 that is equal to 220 volt now here losses is neglected losses neglected means there is no internal drop so whatever the emf i am getting that is equal to the output voltage here okay so v naught will be equal to e equal to 220 volt then n i will get that is equal to 750 rpm is it fine so I know that V0 is nothing but 3 VML upon pi into cos alpha that is equal to V0 and V0 is equal to 220 volt. Now 3 multiplied by 440 root 2 upon pi into cos alpha that is equal to 220 volt. So here I will get cos alpha is equal to 0 0.37. So what will be the input power factor input power factor is equal to g into fundamental displacement factor that is equal to 3 upon pi into cos alpha put cos alpha is equal to 0.37 input power factor is equal to 0 0.3533 that is the option a is correct got it see the next problem a three phase fully controlled thyristor bridge converter is used as a line commutator inverter to feed 50 kilowatt power at 420 volt dc to three phase this much this much ac means consider dc link current current is i naught is constant then the rms current of thyristor we have already derived this equation that is in lecture number 19 it rms each thyristor will conduct for 120 degree so it rms i will get that is equal to i naught under root conduction angle 120 upon 360 that is equal to i naught by root 3 so if i will find i naught then i can easily find the it rms now in order to find the i naught means we, uh, in order to find the output current i can write like this v naught i naught is nothing but output power p naught that is given as 50 kilowatt and v naught is 420 volt so i naught i will get that is equal to 50000 upon 420 that is equal to 119.04 ampere okay so put i naught here you will get itrms that is equal to option c for 68.73 see the next problem a three phase fully controlled bridge converter is feeding a load drawing a constant and ripple free load current load current is constant and it is given as 
10 ampere at a firing angle alpha is given as 30 degree the approximate total harmonic distortion THD and the RMS value of fundamental component of input current will be what see if you watched my lecture number 19 then there I have written the Fourier series of source current IS of T like this summation of n is equal to 6k plus minus 1 to infinite 4 i net upon n pi sin n pi by 3 sin n omega t minus n alpha okay now you have to find the is1 rms means fundamental source current rms is1 rms i will get like this im1 upon root 2 so im1 for finding the im1 put n is equal to 1 here that is equal to 4 i naught upon pi into sin pi by 3 upon root 2 that is equal to 2 root 2 i naught upon pi sin pi by 3 put i naught is equal to 10 ampere you will get 7.8 ampere okay so either option b or option d now you have to find the thd so in order to find the thd what is the formula of thd thd is equal to 1 upon g square minus 1 so in order to find the thd we have to know the g g is nothing but for three phase rectifier g is equal to 3 upon pi into cos alpha alpha is 30 degree means 3 upon pi into cos 30 in this way you can find g now put the value of g in equation this this is equation 1 so you will get thd is equal to 31 percent so option b is correct all the formula i have derived in lecture number 19 so go through that lecture you will understand what i am doing see the next problem this is important problem again a solar energy installation utilizes a three phase bridge converter to feed energy to the power system through a transformer means i am installing one solar plant and this solar plant is feeding power to this transformer so power is delivered from solar to grid okay the energy is collected in the bank of 400 volt batteries battery the battery is emf is given as 400 volt and it is connected to the converter through a large filter choke of resistance 10 m 10 ohm this is the uh, the value of r is equal to 10 ohm the maximum current through the battery will be see here i have already explained you in the previous lecture that in order to transmit power from dc to ac like in solar cell like this the polarity of emf must be like this then only it can transfer power from load to source that we have discussed why because we know that in order to transfer power from load to source output power must be negative and here current cannot reverse its direction because of the thyristor converter current can never flow in reverse direction so v naught must be negative current cannot be negative so v naught must be negative now in order to make v naught negative this is the v naught the polarity of e must be such that v naught i will get negative so e will be like this from minus to plus then only this battery will deliver power to the source see according to telegram's theorem if this battery is delivering power to the source then the current must leaves the positive terminal of this battery so the polarity of emf must be like this is it fine now find the v naught v naught apply applying kvl i will get that is equal to i naught into r minus e so i naught is equal to v naught plus e upon r okay now we have to find the maximum current through the battery will be we have to find the maximum current maximum current when i will get see here the v naught is negative here since v naught is negative so maximum i naught max i will get when v naught will be zero so i naught max is equal to e upon r that is equal to 400 by 10 that is equal to 40 ampere so option b is correct okay here v naught is negative that's why i have to find the i naught max v naught must be equal to zero got it now see the part b part b we have to find the kva rating of input transformer we have to find the kva rating of this transformer so in order to find the kva rating of this transformer we must know the what is the input power here how much power i am getting that is equal to the kva rating of transformer to find the input power of any three phase converter what is the input power input power is equal to root 3 times of source voltage into source current okay and we know that source current the relation between load current and source current in three phase converter is nothing but i naught into 2 by 3 that we have derived in lecture number 19 so i naught is given here 
maximum i not i am getting that is equal to 40 ampere so 40 under root 2 by 3 will be the source current okay so what will be the input power input power is equal to root 3 times of what is source voltage see here source voltage is 400 volt supply voltage is given as 400 volt so it will be 400 multiplied by is that is equal to 40 under root 2 by 3 that is equal to 22.6 kva so option c is correct see the next problem a three phase diode bridge rectifier is feeding a constant dc current of 100 ampere i naught is given that is equal to 100 ampere to a highly inductive load means load current is constant a three phase 450 hertz ac source is applying to bridge rectifier then the rms value of current in each diode see in the lecture number 19 that we have derived for three phase full wave con control converter right control converter means thyristor is connected so in place of thyristor if i will replace this thyristor to diode then we have to put alpha is equal to zero in all the formula for three phase diode bridge rectifier okay put alpha is equal to zero in a all the controlled uh, converter formula you will get the formula for three phase diode bridge rectifier so itrms here no any concept of alpha for finding the itrms so itrms is equal to idrms that is equal to i naught under root conduction angle 120 upon 360 that is equal to i naught by root 3 so put 100 by root 3 that you will get 57.7 ampere okay these all formula i have derived in lecture number 19 so that's all about this lecture in this way we have completed all the previous year gate problem that has been asked in a gate from 1991 to 2017 based on three phase rectifier so in this way we have completed the rectifier module all the concept related to gate syllabus now we will move to the chopper so in the next lecture that is the lecture number 21 we will start introduction to chopper so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video